Welcome to Fans React and I'm going to be talking about the game tomorrow versus Crew. Now for Sunderland, we should be going into this game knowing we can get 3 points. But we shouldn't underestimate Crew because they're not a bad side. Uh, they've won 2, lost 2 and uh, drawn 1. So we should, we should not underestimate Crew. They've got the former Sunderland player Mikel Mandron and we know what happens when a former Sunderland player plays against Sunderland like we saw last season. That he's got two goals against us, so we need to keep a close eye on him. Now, for Swindon uh, game, I thought Wyke, he was fantastic. And then I saw a few fans after the game, they were saying, oh, it was an easy goal, oh, my dad can score that, oh, my grandma can score that. It's not about the goal, it, it is about the way he, he, he went into that space. He fooled the Swindon uh, back line and he scored. And for me, Wyke is a confidence player. I know he's frustrating. I know he doesn't win headers because he's a big lad, but he doesn't win headers. I know his first touch is poor. But that's not the reason. Wyke's main job is to score goals. And uh, what did he do? Score goals. And he's done something that Greg and Graham, they've not done in this season. Yeah? I, uh, you, know, you know, for Graham, I guess uh, Charlton, he... What he, there was two uh, chances that he missed and Wyke, he had one chance uh, against Swindon and he scored and when he scored, there was that confidence that went into him he was winning the ball, uh, he was winning the headers he was uh, trying to hold the ball up his first touch was good and that's what we need from a big centre forward like Wyke and Wyke needs to keep doing that so we need to praise him, give him confidence not Slate him, say, oh, it was a crap goal. No, that doesn't work out. That's that. That is that is that is what I think. I know some fans they don't like him. That's fair enough. That's what they think, and I respect that. For but for me, Wyke, you've got to fancy your chances of Wyke scoring against Crew tomorrow because if Wyke plays like that, like he did against Swindon. Then why not? Why why can't you score against Crew? And um, for me, that I think fans should praise him because if you praise a player, yes, I know he scored an easy goal, but if he scores ten of them goals and we go up this season, we will all be over the moon. So for me, why if he if he scores a five yard tap in? Then the arm will be over the moon because he scored and we got the three points. That's the main thing. Three points and we go up this season. That's what is that is what the goal is this season. So why he's doing something that Greg and Graham and I know some fans can can say Greg and Graham they've not had the chances. Well, Graham he, there was his chance against uh, Charlton and he didn't score. Greg, I know he's not had the chances. So. But that's up to Parkinson and I think he loves Wyke. That, and that, that's why he, he likes playing Wyke. And look, Wyke is good. So we need to praise Wyke. I thought power, it was a good through ball and he needs to keep doing that. He needs to keep doing that and go into the box late surge. He needs to keep doing that. For Ledbetter, now he's a woody because three games in a week. If obviously Ledbetter now, he's getting older and uh, could his leg handle three games in a week? Maybe, maybe not. For me, that's a woody. I thought, right, fantastic. And we need to give Conor McLaughlin some praise. I know some fans that were saying, he wasn't good. He was okay. He wasn't fantastic. That's his first game. And he was, and for me, he was fantastic. And we had Luke O'Neill, who, he was in centre-back and he still played well. So um, we, we need to give praise to Conor McLaughlin as well. Um, for what I think the land will be is Lee Burgin goal uh, and now the three centre-back. This will be tough. Now, um, we'll ha I think we'll have Luko Nayan, uh, Flanagan and Wright. Now, the, uh, now the, I'm not sure about Sanderson because the, I'm not seeing him play. But the, I played with him on FIFA 20 <laughs> and he was fantastic. So... Uh, Fingers crossed he is like that, you know, in obviously playing wise uh, in uh, real life. But um, uh, yeah, so I think it'll be them three centre backs and then uh, the two wing backs. I think it'll be Conor McLaughlin and Gooch. Then it'll be Scowin and Ledbetter and then Power in that hole. 
and then um, I think it'll be Wyke and uh, Chris Maguire. Um, for me, that I do want Greek to play because there is a chance that he can score against Crew. No disrespect to Crew, but they're not that great a uh, defensively, so we need to exploit that. But for me, I think what Phil uh, Parkinson will do is he'll play Wyke and Chris Maguire up top, and. Um, yeah, um, but we shouldn't underestimate crew because they can easily come and get a one-all draw. Um, it, uh, I know, I know it is good we're keeping clean sheets, but we need to keep high. I know we've lost now. Willis he went off, and there was some uh, news that he was he was in crutches. That is a big worry because Willis he is a main part. Him or right, he's a main part, uh, and if Willis he is injured, then there'll be uh, more pressure for uh, Sanderson or maybe Taylor or maybe the uh, the the young guy that was on the bench um young um so uh, that's a big worry and fingers crossed Willis he's not out for you know for like a like a long time um for what I think the score will be um I think it'll be 2 nil Sunderland I think White will score and you fans you might be thinking that I love White no but I just think when when your striker does something good, you praise him. You can't just say, oh, he's doing crap. Oh, he, you know, he's that and that. No. we that we got to praise him. So, that I don't love Wyke. I know some fans are going to write in the comments saying, I love Wyke. But no, the thing is, thing is, I like Wyke because he gives 100%. And that's what and that's what we want as Sunderland fans. Like, one player who gives 100%. I know he's not fantastic. But he gives 100, 100%. Uh, so, I think it'll be 2 in Sunderland. And um, yeah, uh, uh, please subscribe to this uh, channel where we are so close to 100 subscribers. And can you also subscribe to uh, the SA SAFC Fan TV because they just got to 4K and they want to get to 5K. So please subscribe to both Fans React and the SAFC Fan TV. And yeah, thanks for watching Fans React.